Tonight, Notre Dame Cathedral in Paris is completely engulfed by fire. The cathedral's spire collapsed into the building. It lies in ruins. Hi guys, thank you for tuning into Amy's Crypt. Now I actually have a very sad episode for you all today because I'm going to be talking about the dark legends and ghost stories that are connected to the Notre Dame Cathedral in Paris. And the reason why this is so sad is because this beautiful landmark has just been destroyed by fire. There was 850 years of history contained within Notre Dame. A lot of historical events took place there. There was a lot of artifacts, uh, carvings and art within the cathedral. There's just a lot lost during this recent fire. Now the reason why I wanted to make this video is for all of the people who have visited Notre Dame before and hold a special place for it in their hearts such as myself. But I also wanted to share all of the photos and footage that I collected inside of the cathedral as well as outside to everyone watching who may not have had the chance to ever visit the cathedral before it was so brutally damaged. Now this is still an Amy's Crypt episode, so of course we are going to be looking at the dark and grim side of the cathedral. And there are quite a few ghost stories that go along with it, as well as one that concerns the devil. So let's jump into it. I'm going to tell you all of the spooky stories and legends and overlay a lot of the footage and photos that I collected while I was there late last year. Now there are actually a lot of ghost stories associated with Notre Dame and it is considered to be one of the most haunted places in all of Paris. There are a lot of people out there that believe that there are a lot of kings as well as holy historical figures that continue to walk the halls inside of this cathedral after death. Now these ghostly claims make sense when we consider how old the cathedral actually is. Its construction was completed back in the 1300s, though that place took over a century to build. And then you've got to start thinking of all the historical figures and the historical events that took place at this cathedral. There were a lot of crownings done there, such as Napoleon in 1804. This place has also survived several world wars. There's just so much rich history surrounding Notre Dame. Although there are thought to be a lot of well-known historical figures residing within Notre Dame, they are not the most commonly cited or spoken about ghosts. It is actually the ghost of two unknown mysterious females that haunt the cathedral who are most commonly cited. A lot of people have claimed to see the apparition of one or two females on top of the roof of the cathedral. They're normally seen walking around the Gothic architecture and darting in between the gargoyles and other statues on top of the cathedral before disappearing into thin air. And while nobody really knows a lot about these women or who they are, it is speculated that they could possibly be people who committed suicide by jumping from the roof of the cathedral many years ago. Now whilst there are a lot of ghost stories surrounding Notre Dame and these are quite prevalent, there is one legend which is far darker and a lot more sinister than any ghost. There is actually a legend that relates to the devil and how he was tied into the construction of the cathedral. Legend has it that during the 1300s, one of the best iron workers in all of Paris was contracted to make some magnificent doors that led into the entrance of the cathedral. No matter how hard this man worked, all of the designs that he put forward to the church were refused because they weren't grand enough for this holy place of worship. Now, after many years and a lot of failed designs, this man grew very, very desperate to get a door design that really pleased the church. So he resorted to prayer. And when his prayers weren't answered in a timely enough manner, he took a far more drastic turn and started to pray to the devil for help with his door design. Shortly after this, this iron worker actually came up with a magnificent design that very much pleased the church. So these doors were created and then installed and they fit perfectly and looked great. There was just one small little problem and that problem was that the doors did not actually open, no matter how much force was applied to them. Then what happened was the construction workers went to the apartment of the man to seek his advice on this matter. And what they found was his dead body. This man had actually committed suicide by hanging himself within his own home and left a letter which suggested that those doors should be doused in holy water. And lo and behold, after they were doused in holy water, the doors opened with no 
further problems. Now, allegedly, a number of people have claimed to cite the apparition of that iron worker sitting in front of the doors that he made a deal with the devil to create. In addition, many people believe that there is a little tribute to Satan within those very doors, hidden amongst the swirls in the steelwork, are signs that look very much like the numbers 666. Now I do hope that you all enjoyed these ghost stories about Notre Dame. I was very sad to hear the news yesterday that that place had caught fire. It has a lot of historical value and it is just beautiful and stunning and it's sad to think of all of the artifacts and everything with inside that may be lost. I believe the structure at the moment has been saved and there's definitely going to be a lot of efforts to restore it, maybe even a global fundraiser, so watch out for that if you have a special connection to Notre Dame. I do hope that you guys enjoyed this video though, I know it's a bit of a quicker one, a little bit different to what I normally do, but if you did enjoy it, please make sure to give it a like comment, share, subscribe if you want to explore more creepy places from all around the world with me. You guys are able to do a bit more reading about the ghost stories of Notre Dame over at amyscrypt.com. You guys can also follow me at Amy's Crypt on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram and I'll see you all guys next time on Amy's Crypt.